So, um, was I the only one who noticed Zeno using Kemboshoku? You know, when like a uh, silver came from the sky to crush it, he did like the whole, he dodged like the debris flying at him without actually looking back. That, I don't know, that just reminded me of Kemboshoku, that was pretty sick. Actually, I think to me that was like, that's, that when that happened, when silver crushed Chitun, I just kind of lost my shit, like I ran around, I had to calm down before making this video, honestly, because I was all so hyper from that shit. And honestly, how pointless is Chitu? Like, this character was just created to be destroyed. Like, honestly, that's just it. It was just created to be destroyed. Think about it. What did Chitu really do in this episode? Like, in this um, arc? Like, what contribution did he really make to the arc? He was just created to be owned repeatedly. And he finally got this so-called super ability that is, uh, that's supposed to supposedly <laughs> Take down uh, morale, and guess what? He doesn't even get the chance to use it. He fucks with the Zodiac, and then you know, you know what happens when you fuck with the Zodiac. You don't mess with the Zodiacs. Simple. And it's like there's a team in Hunter x Hunter. It's like the bigger the animal your pet is, the stronger you are. Because if you think about it, uh, Gain, when they showed Gain in the uh, anime, he had like these two big monstrous animals. <laughs> Actually, it was he was on top of a big animal, and then that animal was on top of another animal that was like twice as big. <laughs> so yeah, so that just kind of gives you a clue about how powerful Gain must be. Because I don't know, I just feel like there's a correlation there somewhere. Don't quote me on this, but yeah, that's what I think. Anyways, moving on. And uh, yeah, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, <laughs> shoot. Shoot a knuckle. Oh my god. Seriously, like, I just feel so sorry for those guys because Knuckle apparently, he has, he, like, they did a little bit of flashback to show that Knuckle has the resistance, like, endurance to run over a long distance. He, like, they won't compare his stamina to that of a cheetah at top speed. That like, he has greater stamina. He can maintain top speed, like, longer than a cheetah. You understand? Like, he, he can run for a very long time. He's pretty durable. So now, his plan was to get, <laughs> was to give shoot sort of like pretty in space, but apparently he misjudges Hopanen's like priorities, because to him, like to UP, shoot and knuckle were like flies that were just bugging and then, you know, he just wanted to swat them away, not necessarily kill them, you know, just as long as you're far away from the stairway, because that's where he's supposed to be guarding, and as long as that is, you know, his job is done. So Naku was running and then he looked back and he realized what just happened, like, oh, this guy is going for shoot. Apparently, like, that wasn't what he was doing, obviously. He went back and he realized that this guy actually <laughs> must have seen shoot because shoot was in his way, you know. Must have seen shoot and totally ignored shoot because that's the only explanation. And then he started imagining, like, you know, you'd be giving this condescending look at shoot, like, looking at him like trash or something like that. And, you know, they're warriors, right? So... Their ego is kind of bruised. Like they want to. They want to fight back. They don't want to regain their honor. You know they've been insulted. Then they f for that they feel the need to fight UV. Now this is what's funny. Knuckle, after like channeling so much rage, saying all this stuff like I'm gonna beat this guy. I mean, I get him. I'm gonna punch him. I'm gonna give him an extra punch for you. Shoot. Don't worry, I got you, man. We, we're gonna teach this guy a lesson, you know, we're not flies, we're the shit, blah, blah, blah. So, what happens? This guy sees Yuppie. Yuppie completely loses his shit. Transforms his rage into this humongous aura or whatever. And what does Knuckle do? He runs away. Like, I don't know, was I the one find that funny? Like, that's funny. It's like, it's like all the situations where you're talking with your friends and you'd be like, Yo, what would you do if you see this girl at the club, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, I'll walk over. And then it actually happens. And then they kind of shy out of it, something like that. You know, like, it's just like, it's easy to talk. But, you know, you can't really walk the walk. But I wouldn't really blame him, though. Like, what, what was he supposed to do? He can't really stand there. Like, I'm pretty sure every Netero, Netero would run away. Like, that, <laughs> that shit was crazy. But, uh, yeah. And uh, he kind of thinks he sees an opening. But from... What the narrator said is like, UP can control his emotions, learn how to control his emotions immediately because although he felt so much pleasure letting this aura out, he was just thinking of how to use it against the king and the only way to do that was to control this power and defeat these 
flies according to him <laughs> so um yeah uh knock on the other hand he knows like normally when anybody does like a huge attack like that it has to be like some sort of drawback you know it has to last for a bit sorry like there'll be a lag or something before he can do it again and so he was trying to like maybe make him repeat that ability and then while he's doing that attack like maybe try to get the jump on him or something but from what the narrator said that probably won't go the way he's planning yeah that's what i think and um yeah but me personally that's really what happened in this episode every other thing was just like yeah whatever that's just the main focus there's really nothing on the mention oh yeah uh poof poof although kind of like the least rare guy like the one i like the least among the royal guys he's, he's the one i like the least uh, he's playing mind games with Moreau because I don't really understand what his plan is right now. Actually, I can't remember because it's been a while since I read manga. But yeah, I, from what I'm saying, he's just I think he's trying to break Moreau. I don't know. It's like he's so calm about everything and he's just reading Moreau's like state of mind and he's saying like the fact that Moreau is so like he's not faltering, like he's still has the will to like keep him in the cocoon or whatever like fight him that would end up screwing shit up for morale i don't understand that part but yeah it's been a while since i read manga so i can't remember what <laughs> what's gonna happen but uh, yeah let's see what happens next episode and then they ended it with gone giving uh pito <laughs> the stare of death as usual oh uh, god that guy has been holding the rape face for like how many episodes now that should be like a new record anyways uh thanks for watching and uh see you next time